Hey, what's going on guys? John here, back at it again, and we are talking about a brand new thing here that has to do with the battery. Unfortunately, the battery, the 12 volt lithium ion battery that Tesla has been putting into their new plaids, their Model 3s and Model Ys, are having issues again. So pretty much just like the lead acid battery, they are dying prematurely, but this time even faster. So pretty much what's been circulating around the web is that it dies when your car is at 10 to 20% state of charge. And this is when the car is unable to charge the lithium ion battery. And the unfortunate thing is you cannot jump it because most cars on the street right now use a lead acid battery and it runs at roughly 15.5 volts, whereas the lithium ion battery runs at 12 volts. So there is a difference there and that makes it incompatible with each other so if you guys are stranded the only thing you can really do is just call for service now Tesla is aware of this issue and they've recently pushed out a memo saying that it is required at least for the LFP battery versions of the car to be charged to 100% before you drive it so just to sum it up if you guys did pick up your car recently for the very first time make sure you charge it to 100% so the battery gets recalibrated now the issue here is that when a battery is not charged to 100%. For example, it's sitting on the lot. It thinks that it is at 20% and that's what's displaying on your screen. But unfortunately, it is at 0% because of the uncalibrated uh, battery that it has. So being at 0%, and you thinking it's at 20%, you don't really worry too much, but it is draining the 12 volt lithium ion uh, battery there. So that is the real issue that people are having. So for the time being, I'm not sure how Tesla is going to rectify this issue for those that are affected and have a dead battery, but I would think that they would be replacing it because this was never mentioned anywhere uh, regarding having to charge it to 100% before you start driving. Most people who pick up their car, they would just start driving it. They wouldn't charge 200% or at least that is the service center's job to do so, not the customer. Now, luckily this issue hasn't been reported by many people, but because it's not reported doesn't mean it's not happening. There has been a few circulating around and now it looks like this is somewhere in Europe from the text that we're seeing. It shows that the car needs a replacement, pretty much a brand new car that you picked up. Uh, there is some red text and just some notification. I can't read this. You guys can probably translate this yourself, but just from how it looks, I think it does say that the battery is not working, it's not functioning. Now I wish I can read some German and just give you guys the exact words of what it says, probably translate it on the screen, but unfortunately I don't speak the language. So you guys would just have to take my word on it. I did grab it right off of a website that says the 12 volt battery is dead in this picture. So uh, that's probably the case. But uh, regardless guys, I think it's really important to note that if you guys do have a brand new car with this new 12 volt lithium ion battery, make sure you guys charge your car to 100% just so it recalibrates everything. And once you guys do that one time, it should be good to go. Now, just to conclude everything, I don't think that this is affecting any other batteries other than the LFPs, but I'll probably have to back check that and see. I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter or in the comments below. Uh, but if you guys do have a nickel battery, you can go ahead and just drive your car off the lot. And this is only for long range and at the performance version, as well as some of the other cars uh, like the plaids and long ranges of the Model S and X. So yeah, anyways, uh, this should pretty much be it for another video. If you guys enjoyed updates like these and you want me to keep it sweet and simple, please let me know in the comments below. This should wrap it up. This is John once again. Peace out.